Hello viewers, in this video I am going to talk about Mentimeter. Basically Mentimeter is an interactive presentation tool where uh, you can create uh, different kind of uh, quizzes and you can create polls and you can ask for question and answers. So overall you can make a more interactive uh, session with your students. So I'm going to show you how to create a question using Mentimeter and how to present the question and how the students going to answer for that particular question and I'm going to show you how to download the results and I'm going to uh, uh, show you how to you know compare the results after resetting and all. So overall it is an uh, important tool um, in the classroom. I'm, I'm, I'm using this tool and I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, good responses. So uh, before starting with Mentimeter you have to sign up. So you have to go to uh, Mentimeter.com www.mentimeter.com and uh, it will ask you to sign up. So just click on the sign up button. So either you can use your Facebook account or you can use your existing Gmail account or here you can use this options and you can do sign up. Once if it is done uh, you will uh, uh, <coughs> get a home page like this. So I have already signed up. I will just open my presentations. So just click on your presentations button. So it will take you to the home page actually. And uh, over here I have created a few set of uh, presentations already. Um, see these are all the things and um, I'm gonna show you how to create it. So in the right side you can see your account information which uh, the mail id which you have signed in and all. And in the left side pane you can see um, in this dashboard uh, you can see um, your presentations basically. And uh, so first of all to create a presentation you have to click on this new presentation button and it, and it will ask you to uh, enter a presentation name. So um, for instance I am just using quiz and click on create presentation. So it will take you to the presentation page where you can add up to three slides. So this is a basic version and um, it will allow you to make only three slides not more than three if you want to make more than three then you have to pay for it and also some features are disabled in basic version like uh, import option is not there because uh, you can import your questions from uh, 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 notepad or uh, something some some text documents but this is this option is not going to work in basic version well um, uh, so this is my first slide. I'm gonna select the type of question which I'm going to ask or also you know post in the projector for the students. So these are the types of questions you can see multiple choice, word cloud, open ended, you can scales and you can ask for ranking and you can ask for question and answers, you know. So these are the types. So first of all you have to select a type. So I'm gonna select uh, multiple options uh, like multiple choice. Okay. So the first uh, step is you have to select the type of question and in the second step you have to um, you know mention the question what kind of question it is uh, for example I'm just writing uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, take uh, capital of uh, Tamil Nadu let's say for instance and I'm gonna write Chennai and so these are all the options I'm gonna use Trichy Fine. So if you want to add more options, you can here, click on add button and options. As of now, I'm not going to do that. If you want to remove, you can use it. Okay, fine. And uh, um, what is your uh, result layout? How you want to display result? So you so there are four options. You, you can use bar chart. And uh, if you want to show correct answers after a discussion, then you have to click this. Else, it is not necessary. So if you if you, if you want to do this, click on this so that this checkbox will get enabled so there you have to click the correct option actually so that uh, finally we fine so the step 2 is done and uh, the third step is not necessary but if you want to customize those voting hide results and if you want to change the background it is not available in basic version okay so now we are done with question number one and I'll show you how to add another slide so you can click on add slide so that the second slide will get added 
and the for instance i'm just using word cloud and designs you can ask students to type keywords like you can post a question to post uh, minimum one to maximum you know four or five keywords you can that is your wish you can for example if you click on word cloud and um, so again you can uh, post a question over here and um, entries per participant how many entries how many keywords they should type three or five or whatever you want you can choose it okay so um, as of now for demo purpose I'm just taking you with some question and I can add another slide that is uh, slide number three and I'm just selecting multiple choice and I'll type something and I'm gonna show you or more than three slides so if I try to add fourth slide it will be asking you uh, you know you to upgrade your uh, <coughs> uh, account so I'm not going to do that one so cancel this and I'm gonna delete all these slides because I'm gonna use only one slide for demo purpose and um, I'm just deleting other slides okay fine so now we are done with uh, slide number one and uh, the question is capital of Tamil Nadu and I have given three options that's it okay so you, you don't want to save this one uh, anywhere uh, this is on cloud I mean your Mentimeter account uh, will get auto auto saved all I mean save all these things okay fine so uh, I just want to present this so once if I do this one once if I click this present button yeah so one important thing is uh, you have to create all these quiz questions in Mentimeter.com over here and uh, while presenting this particular text will be displayed that is www.menti.com and the students have to use this particular code like 748 uh, and 46 so for one presentation you will be getting one unique code and if I add another slide I will be having the same code so with uh, and and if I create a, a, another presentation like quiz 2 or else something some other subject names uh, then I'll be getting a different code okay so I'm gonna present this so you'll be getting a, a whole screen like this so this will be displayed in the projector so the students can vote over here so if the students are uh, you know uh, you can able to check the status that how many students have uh, uh, you know answered for this particular question okay now I'm gonna show you uh, I'll just take you to uh, in cognitive window to show how this works. I'll go to menti uh, dot com and uh, once if you do this, you you can ask the students to use their laptop or PC to you know uh, answer for this particular question, or uh, you can ask them to use their mobile phone. They can watch from the mobile also. So they have to enter the code that is seven four uh, seven eight and four six. Once if they do this and click submit button, it will be displaying you the question. Uh, for instance, I'm just selecting different answers. Let's see what happens. So I have done with my voting, and see immediately I, the results will get popped here. So one user have voted as of now. So I'll use another browser just to, uh, you know, increase the number of uh, participants. Uh, four six, and I'm gonna uh, select some other answer. If, once if I do this one, immediately I'll be getting uh, the, uh, you know, updates over here. And so. I'm using uh, two different process other than Chrome to make sure to display how this particular thing will work. Okay, done. All set. So now I have voted. So three students have uh, voted for this question. So if I want to display the correct answer, I can simply press enter button so that uh, you know the correct answer will get uh, enabled and other things will get disabled. But I don't want to do this. I want to engage the classroom, so with student interactions. So what I can do is, if you got responses like uh, if minimum number of students have responded uh, uh, correct, then what we can do is we can ask them to interact. Like uh, 
what I'll do is I'll just go to see there, there are different options like uh, you can hide results like close voting and uh, you can set timer even like one minute if you click this one it will be showing you the timer and uh, over here you can click and uh, I'm gonna do reset results so for all the slides or this particular slide we can select I'm gonna select a reset results okay it was done so once if it got reset and uh, you can ask the students to interact for about uh, one minute like uh, discuss the correct answer for this one and um, they can discuss and then once if they open their browser and now they have discussed and then they will come up with a different uh, you know uh, the exact solution so that they will be selecting the answer and uh, so that uh, so here people have to refresh and even here okay so yeah so if it is not displaying then you can ask um, the students to refresh the page that's it so now three students have voted exactly so now if you press enter button even it will be showing you so these things will get disabled and then the, the correct answer will get shown so this is how so uh, this is one method to increase students interactions to share their knowledge and uh, now uh, if you want to download the results and if you want to keep track uh, keep a record on activities then you can use this option like uh, just uh, press escape from your keyboard exit the prompt so it will take you to the um, window where you have created all the questions and there you can see in the in the right side you can see uh, under um, underneath uh, content you can see download results just click on this and if you want to download an excel sheet you have to upgrade and have to get a pdf for free so <coughs> it will be showing you the questions with um, the answers the students have answered and how many number of people have answered so that's it so just click download quiz see this um, pdf file if you want to download, download and this is how the file looks so i have created only one uh, slide if, if you create three slides it will be showing you three different you know uh, three different pages so this is what the students um, numbers so uh, try this tool and um, kindly let me know the responses thank you